how to get your photos and videos off of your camera and onto your laptop. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do just that. All right, so the first thing you're actually going to do is you're gonna go to this website. I have it linked down in the description of this video. I have the USA version, then also a couple other regions in there for my audience. Um, so you're gonna go to this page and you're gonna scroll down and you're going to find the software and drivers. See this section right here. You're gonna open it and you're gonna put your operating system and the version of your operating system. So it already detected mine. I had to choose uh, Mac OS. So you're gonna go and download the EOS Utility 3.16.12 as of the recording of this video. You're gonna download it and you're gonna install it on your computer. Since I already have it installed, I'm gonna go open it up right now. It's gonna open this small little window here and tell you to connect an EOS camera. That's when you're gonna go over to your camera and you're gonna go to the purple menu, the first page, um, or actually let's go to the page two first and then just make sure that the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings are on. Once you confirm that they're on, you can go over to page one and then where it says connect to EOS utility, you're gonna click on that. And then when you go inside that menu, you're gonna see add a device to connect to. So you're gonna click on that. And basically it's gonna search for nearby Wi-Fi. So what you're going to do is take note of what Wi-Fi that your computer is connected to and make sure that you connect your R50 to that same Wi-Fi because that's how it's going to be able to talk to the computer through the Wi-Fi. So you're going to start pairing device, hit OK. It's going to tell you to go over to your computer because the EOS um, utility will detect that there's a camera nearby. Go back to that little um, window here and it says EOS pairing software here. So camera model EOS M50, uh, R50, sorry. And then a bunch of details here. You're going to hit connect and it's gonna tell you to look back on the screen of your camera and then it says that it found a MacBook. So we're gonna hit okay here. And then officially from there, your camera and your computer are now connected. As you can see here, I took a couple of test pictures already, but these are pictures that are already existing on my camera. So if you wanna transfer these files, you're gonna hit this button here and hit download. But before we even do that, we wanna set a destination folder. So down here where it says preferences and then click on that and basically we're going to set the file storage so that the files have a place to um, go when you um, take pictures or transfer photos. This can be anything that you want so I'm just going to um, just create another one. I created a folder on my desktop called test and here I have two dates, uh, two folders with two separate dates. I'm just going to create another one. I'm just going to put test folder here, you know, just do a random one right there and then you click open and then this um, path right here is where all your files are going to go to. You can also change the format of like the files and all that stuff. So we're going to just get oh, okay. Now that we have the destination set, we can start transferring photos. So click on this button right here to select all or you can unselect it and just select the ones that you want right there and hit download and it's going to tell you that uh, you know it's going to download to that folder again you can change your destination folder here file name whatever hit OK and it's going to say transferring image data we'll give it some time to um, transfer this, these over and again these are only JPEG photos it also does raw photos and JPEG um, the raw plus JPEG um, setting on the camera so you can do both and oh actually here one of these is a video so it's transferring the video also so that's why this one's taking a little bit longer uh, but we're just gonna wait until everything is done all right and then if we go to that folder that's on the desktop here test folder here you can open it up this test folder that I created earlier and then another folder within that and it shows the files that transferred over. I have a video here that I took too. So yeah, that's basically transferring your files from your camera over to your computer using the EOS utility here. Um, there's also a couple more features that we can do here. So if you click on here, main window, it gives you options to, you know, uh, firmware update and, and just a bunch of miscellaneous settings here. Just hit return. Um, we have remote shooting here. Um, this is a pretty cool feature uh, if you want to do like remote um, shooting here. Uh, if you click on live view shoot, it'll pop up a window here of the live view of the camera. So let's do a quick test run. Look at that. That's crazy. 
really really bad it's <laughs> duplicating itself there all right and you can basically see me um sitting behind the camera right now <laughs> pretty cool so this is really cool um okay so let's actually close this out so that's another thing that we can do. If you, if you guys want more of a deeper dive into remote shooting, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video about that. So if you look at this setting here, download images to computer, click on it. You can do all images or you can just select and download and it'll bring you back to this page right here. If you guys want to learn more about the Canon R50, check out my playlist on screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next one.